another episode of Bungle Collects. We've got a two pound coin hunt for you today. We haven't got a full 500 pounds, unfortunately, but we'll more about that in a minute. So hopefully we're gonna try and fill either mine or Ellie's book very sometime soon. Ellie needs Wales and the Commonwealth. She needs Rio Handover and a Navy Centenary. And that's all she needs to be completely full. Ellie has a get, trying to get a full set of commemoratives with all the writing uh, around the outside that's upside down. And I'm trying to do exactly the same, but the writing around the outside is going to be, that is the, no, Ellie's is the, uh, Ellie's is the right way up. Mine is the ones upside down. It's been a while. We haven't done a two pound coin for a while. So I also need Wales with the writing around the outside upside down. And it'd be nice to get a Navy Centennial flag error as well. But basically it's the race to Wales. If I get Wales, then, uh, then I'm, then I'm done. So what have we got? We have got 380 pounds, Lady M. So, Spiller, that's good news. I was spill the spiller in the Artonia oh, technology. The spiller in the last uh, in our last hunt, the 50p hunt, produced a Christmas coin. So hopefully that is uh, good news, and that's the bag that's, uh, that's half open. So okay. hopefully that's a, a little bit of good luck, Lady M. So 380 pounds. So that's all I could get hold of, and to be honest, I'm lucky to get hold of that. I know that uh, people have been asking us if we're able to get all the coins and. No, we're not. We haven't been able to do a bank run since the uh, lockdown started. Although I have been able to get hold of these two pound coins. I was in a shop, and uh, like a corner shop if you like, and it just so happens that uh, that corner shop has a post office. Yeah. So, double Snow. Brunel achievements. So, it just so happened to uh, that post office, that corner shop has a post office. I tried my luck, and lo and behold, they had these under the counter. So, with a bit of luck, this is going to be something to go into in the album. But to be honest, Lady M, I'm glad we've got anything of you. Uh, yeah. It's uh, it's weeks since we've done anything in the way of two pound hunts. We were just putting along, we were just putting them along the top, I think, weren't we? Yeah. So yeah, pretty yeah, pretty common one. That one we come across that all the time. Put nearly seven and a half million of them into circulation. Oh, got Tron helmets. Don't come across Ooh. that very often. That's not a bad. Oh, one. I thought you were gonna say you had Tron helmets there. That was no. gonna be a double, <laughs> a double, a double helmets. So army pals or shoulder to shoulder to give him this, it's uh, it's it's full Sunday name. Really common, nearly 10 million, just over nine and a half million of these in circulation. So we don't find that many though. No, we don't. Mine's a little less common. Trinity House, and I think reading upside down, is that 3,705,000? Reading upside down? You know, everyone's supposed to think I know these off the top of my head, Lady M. You can't give away the fact I've got a sheet with a cheat sheet right next to me. <laughs> You know, that's yeah, it. That's it now. My, yeah. my, my absolute. The illusions shattered. Yeah, it is absolutely shattered. Was yeah. it? Was there any errors on that? Because we have discovered a, uh, um, an error on the on the Trinity House, haven't we? I'll let you have a look because I can't remember what the errors were. Yeah, there were basically there was errors in. Uh, yeah, no, it hasn't. You can't you keep keep an eye out for it. Let me just get me a cocktail stick. So keep an eye out for them. So relatively new find. Mainly a little bit of splodge in this top corner here. So rather mm. than have that little bit of window. It's it's full of splodge. Right. I've also seen it in this window, and I've also seen it in that window. So okay. keep an eye out for the Trinity uh, Trinity House error. So okay. now now you've blown the illusion, at Lady M. How many, how many was it? What, what's the circulation uh, of Trinity House? Three million seven hundred and five thousand. So it's relatively low. Yeah, it's not lower than your Tron helmets. Oh, without a doubt. Even though we don't find that many Tron helmets. Yeah. I wonder if they're all. Uh, I wonder if they've all been released into circulation yet. The Tron helmets. Because the, there were definitely, some have definitely been held back, or, or well, I say definitely, as far as I'm concerned, some have been held back. The comedies that we came across, it seems like an age ago now, but not that long ago, considering the sport have been out since 2019. Charles Dickens. That's a very high mintage, I believe. So 8,190,000. Really common. So yeah, the histories have come out recently. I've heard rumours of other coins dated 2015 and 16 okay. that are just beginning to, to surface. And the abolition of the slave trade. Yeah, eight million that one. Oh, it's yeah. over eight million. Have a look. What uh, what year did it come out, Lady M? That gives you the clue how to, to find it. 2007. So 2007 abolition of the trade, slave trade. Eight million four hundred forty-five thousand. So yeah, mega high mintages as far as two pound coins are concerned. So yeah, post office change. Glad to get what we can get. Absolutely. No, it's always a little bit of a gamble, post office change, yeah, I think. I think I don't think people necessarily go through the two pound coins because you haven't got that many collectors. 
Oh, look at the state of that one. That is properly grubby. Yeah, 1998, it is. but that has had a hard life. That's even more grubby upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Active Union and that one, I'm gonna find it, it's seven and a half million, there and thereabouts, just over. Yeah, super common, them ones. Well, we're on, let's talk about what, we, what we've been up to, Lady M coin wise. So, we've been stretching out what coins we've got. We've still got some 50, uh, 50 p's to go, although from this Friday, they're only going to be, uh, we're only doing 100 pounds yeah. at a time, although they will be in seal bags. So the bags that we got ready for our live streams on a Sunday that we obviously haven't done since lockdown. So I've still got a few bags of them to go through. So we're only going to have £100 next day, well, this coming Friday. But we're going to do something different out of it. We're going to do 50p golf. Oh, that's right. Yes. Is it Robbie Burns? Yeah, relatively low mint is that one as well. Yeah. Lady M, quite a, the, uh, quite a desirable coin. I'm going to find it. Do, do, do. Oh, yeah, three. 3.2 million there and thereabouts. Yeah, I think anything around the 3 million matter. Well, I think you've got to be under 3 million really to be super desirable. So 50p golf. So what we're going to, we're only going to have a hundred pounds, five bags each, and we're going to be playing golf. Okay. Worthy. Doing all right for, uh, for commemoratives. That's 5.7 million. Mm. So we're not going to be doing like knocking them around with bats or anything like that. <laughs> But, now that might get a little dangerous. Yeah, it might. But we are going to, so we'll have five bags each. And we're going to, oh, this <laughs> is nice. Have you been played? This is nice Lady Emma to JC. Jodie Clark, fifth portrait of the Queen. The Jodie Clark a, a woman? Uh, no, Jodie Clark's, Jody Clark's a man. Oh, wow. This One thing I am interested, I have been meaning to put this on Instagram and ask. The, why, why do the coins get this ring around here? This ring? Because the, the comedies that we got, tons of them had a had a ring around like that. So there must be a reason. So does anybody out there know why they get the why they get that specific ring? So um, if uh, if anybody knows, then uh, I'd be very grateful to find out. So I reckon on that basis, this is going to be a comedy. Oh, histories, oh, nice. nice. Something something a bit different. Yeah. So fifty p golf. Are we talking about fifty p golf? Yeah. I'm, I'm putting that down there. Oh, I'm okay. like, oh no, I'm not. I'll stick, <coughs> I'll stick with the relatively new uh, new format. Okay. So five bags each and it's like golf where we want to score the lowest the lowest possible score. So it's Bungle versus Lady M. And for every commemorative we find, we're going to be adding up or the score you get will be the mintage figures for that coin. So it'll be a good test. I'm pretty good with 50p's, but we'll have a cheat sheet just in case because it will have to be specific. So for example, if uh, Lady M finds, his, finds a Benjamin Bunny and a uh, Taylor Peter Rabbit, you'd be looking at 45 million. So her points will be, 40, her score will be 45 million and we'll just keep adding them up for every commemorative that you find in your bags. And then the lowest score, so like golf, the lowest score is the winner. So just trying to jazz up the, the fact we'll only have a, well, we're only doing 100 pounds a time and 50 p just to obviously ration around what coins we've got. So two pound coins, yeah, we've only, just, apart from this, we've only really been able to use what we uh, what we had up. Oh, there's comedies. Nice, eh? Well, we end up with a little uh, little mini set here, Lady mm -hmm. Oh, it is tragedies. There's that mark around the edge again. So again, please do tell me what this is. Oh, this is a grubby bag. <laughs> oh. Well, I'll have it if you want. I, I don't mind if you want me oh, to. No. Just, if you want me to have it. Doesn't feel particularly nice. This is looking. I'm feeling this is going to be something good, lady. I'm got a good feeling about this. It's a uh, Florence Nightingale. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, what's the mintage of this one? Because this is quite a high, high mintage. Two thousand and ten Florence Nightingale. Two thousand and ten. There she goes. So it's six point, uh, six million one hundred seventy-five thousand. That's why we find lots of them. Yeah, about Charles Dickens. I've already said that there's over eight million of them. Bit of a bust there. So yeah, two pound coins. We've been basically just doing what we can, but we have have used PO box episodes on a Monday. I've used the episodes that we had that's total coins and coins to collect a film for us fifty p's. 
use them for one of the, one of the Mondays just to cover up the fact we couldn't get two pound coins. I don't know whether anyone's seen our rainy day episode. I filmed that six months ago. We uploaded that last week or the week before. Oh, this is my last bag, Lydia. Yeah, this is the last bag. So it has been a real oh. struggle to wear. Uh, oh, there we go. No, no one is complete without a simple. No, this is a mega mintage, isn't it? It's a 2005, yeah. that one. Is that the year on it? Look, 2005. Yeah, yes. 10 million 191,000. That's oh, why no two pound hunt is complete without the same Paul's. So, yeah, we'll be doing PO boxes and stretching out other coins and this, that, and the other. And this might be our last two pound hunt for a, for a, for a time. I'm going to try it again. So, every time I go in, if I need to go into a shop, because uh, Lady M and I are still out and about, we are still working Not at the work, moment. Yeah. So, if we are out and about in a shop and there's a post office, we're going to be asking and see whether. But let's see what we get next week. Might be a twenty pound, two pound, who knows? Or it might be something completely different. So yeah, do have a look at some of the other episodes we've done, PO boxes, and of course we've got our tales from the tin, or uh, what is it? Tales and mysteries from the coin tin of wonder. I think is it to give <laughs> it its uh, to give it its full title as well. So yeah, basically we're doing anything to fill the uh, to fill the back. We can't get hold of we can't get hold of coins and can't do bank runs. So it wasn't a bad wasn't no, a bad one, Lady M. What have we got? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen coins, yeah. fourteen commemorative coins. Nothing too rare. I'm pleased with it with these, the yeah. com comedies and histories. So two thirds of a mini set. So that's got to be that's got to be a success. Do put in the comments about that uh, what that ring is around there. Tron helmets. I do like the Tron helmets. This one there. Trinity House is probably the plumber's fine. I think is yeah, it is it the lowest the mintage? mintage It'll be that think, yeah. that and Robert Burns. I think will be the two the best coins in this hunt. But nothing of any real particular, yeah, particular value. Yeah, Robbie Burns is the lowest, yeah. They're not super desirable, two pound coins, unless they're less of the Commonwealth, really. I think the Navy, the Navy Centenaries will be worth something in, in, in years to come, but... Hey-ho, never mind. Right? Is, is that it? Are, are, we, are we relatively short and sweet? Yeah. Yeah, so, well, I think uh, we're all done then, so... Don't forget, to, you can interact with us on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and email us and put some comments in. Please do go have a look on our, on, our, on Wednesdays on our, on our uh, Secrets and Mysteries from the Coin Tin of Wonder. Have a look at that, something something a little bit uh, different for you to see what you think. And if you haven't seen last week's 50p hunt, I know I did a little bit of a spoiler oh, yeah. on the uh, uh, that Christmas coin that we found. But yeah, that's probably our third best coin hunt ever after finding a queue and after finding over 100 Olympics in one hunt. Yeah. That is the third the third best hunt we've ever done. So that's awesome. If you haven't seen that, do go and have a, and have a look at that one. All right then. Right. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you in the next episode.